Hey, how's it going? That Logic Pro guy here. Today we're going to talk about MIDI controlled effects. What are they? How do you use them? So in contrast to common effects like EQ, compressors, things of that nature, the parameters of MIDI controlled effects are going to be controlled via MIDI, either playing a keyboard or playing a virtual keyboard such as this one here. So let me show you what we're working with. Here I have a loop from the Apple Loop Browser. It's very interesting. What I'm about to show you is going to open up your world of audio possibilities. I'm going to mute this track because I don't want to hear it. I just want to run it through a processor. The MIDI controlled effect that I'm going to be using today is called SoundLabs.ai Mic Drop. Logic doesn't necessarily have any built-in ones, but there are a couple of little workarounds, and I'll show you that in a second. But for now, let's go ahead and look at the setup. I create a side chain between this MIDI controlled effect and what it is that I want to process, and then I switch this over to a MIDI performance. And now, when I pull up the virtual keyboard, and I start playing keys on it, that audio, track number two, will be processed through mic drop, and it sounds like this. Good. It's a very interesting texture. It obviously sounds, sounds very new as well. It's like, it has that kind of new uh, modern polish. So you can run drums through this. I mean, there are an endless amount of possibilities. If you have Logic and you want to experiment with this, do me a favor, go ahead and open up a software instrument. And in the instrument category, you're going to look for a synthesizer called the Evoc 20. PS vocoder synth. So go to the synthesizer category and you can find it right here. Setup is pretty much the same. There is one more thing you're going to want to do create the sidechain and then under signal, go ahead and touch vocoder here. All right, so I'm going to press play and I'm going to start playing a couple of MIDI keyboards, make a couple of adjustments to the parameters. Here we go. All right, and probably not a bad idea to run, you know, a couple of different processes in tandem. So I'll play both of these together. Let's see what it sounds like. So that is essentially the core concept. There's a lot of great things that you can do. This is hours and hours of experimentation just right here. But there is one other instance where this could probably be useful. Let's say you have some kind of loop, such as this one right here. And maybe you want to run that in parallel with something else. So you want to hear that dry guitar, but you also want to hear something that sounds wet. Another application is to run one of these MIDI controlled effects such as PSP Lottery, great plugin, especially if you want to get a nice organ sound. And uh, basically you can run these in tandem. So here we have one sound. And then you have the sound running through PSP Lottery, which looks like this. Beautiful little plugin, uh, great learning curve, highly recommend it. And so now, I can blend these to taste. Here we go. Uh -huh. 
la 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 If you have anything else you'd like to learn, go ahead and send me your questions, your comments. All uh, is welcome. Thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate you. I'm just going to keep working on this. I've got a lot of ideas. This was just a quick one for today. So God bless you guys. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.